Well, this morning, the country awaits the verdict in the trial of former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin. He's accused of killing Houston native George Floyd after kneeling on his neck. Alexander Limon joins us live with the way the White House is preparing for this verdict as well. Good morning. Good morning, and the White House says it is preparing for the verdict in the Chauvin trial and for whatever public reaction that verdict may bring. Meanwhile, on Capitol Hill, lawmakers are still struggling to find common ground on police reform bills. We are in touch with mayors, governors, local authorities. From the White House to Capitol Hill, all eyes in Washington are on Minneapolis as the country awaits a verdict in the trial of Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin, accused of killing George Floyd. Of course, our objective is to ensure there is a space for peaceful protest. Republican Senate leader Mitch McConnell worries the reaction to the verdict won't be peaceful. Some of last summer's demonstrations devolved into violent and destructive riots. Following the death of George Floyd, Americans took to the streets to demand change, and Congress began deliberating police reform bills. Senate Republicans tried to pass legislation that would have expanded body cameras, increased transparency in policing, and finally made lynching at long last a federal crime. But almost a year later, Republicans and Democrats like Connecticut Senator Chris Murphy remain at an impasse over just how far a national police reform bill should go. It just makes sense for there to be a, you know, a federal prohibition on chokeholds, for there to be more support for the Department of Justice when they're going after police departments that have um, sort of histories of systemic racism. Last month, Democrats passed their police reform bill in the U.S. House, but that bill faces an uncertain future in the U.S. Senate. Reporting live in Washington, Alexandra Limon. Quick question for you, Alexandra. I know Congress is also front and center during the trial because of comments that Congresswoman Maxine Waters made. Are there any other congressional members that are coming to her defense or also saying comments about this trial at this point? Yeah, in fact, uh, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi says that she doesn't think that Congresswoman Waters should have to apologize. Uh, Democrats seem to be banding together, and obviously Maxine Waters did defend herself from these criticisms that she's inciting violence, saying that is not what she was doing. Uh, she says she is not violent and says that Republicans are trying to bully her by criticizing, you know, her showing up in Minneapolis to rally with protesters. All right, Alexandra Lamont, great job as always reporting for us from Washington, D.C. We'll see you a little bit later.